A chunk of ice goes barreling through the roof of a Vancouver home tonight. The family wants answers. Welcome to this special edition of Coin 6 News. I'm Emily Burris. Now, the two believe the suspicious ice ball fell from a plane that was passing over their house. Our Jennifer Dowling is live in Vancouver after speaking with this couple. It's a story you'll find only on Coin 6. Jen? Hi, Emily. Yeah, the couple tells me it was just a really bizarre situation. They didn't know what happened at first. You can see that they have the uh, roof with a blue tarp over it to try to keep out the rain right now where that ice chunk crashed into the house. The hole in the roof was about the size of a football. Uh, Shane Ford and his wife, Jessica Ford, showed us pictures of the damage caused by the chunk of ice. Uh, the couple says everything was fine when Shane left for work at around 1 o'clock. Uh, then Jessica got home at around 920 to find the gaping hole. Uh, Shane says plane fly over regularly on their way to and from PDX. He even got a shot of a plane in the sky overhead as he was taking pictures of that hole. I actually initially saw the piece of ice in the kitchen um, as well as the sheet rock from up here. And um, so then I actually panicked and I called my husband who was at work at the time because he worked swing shift and uh, panicked, letting him know, I don't know, I think someone broke in. So I grabbed the stepladder, I put the stepladder, I'm gonna put my hand through the hole, and I felt a breeze from outside. I was like, this can't be right. Shane did contact the FAA and they told him by email that there's not much they can do to figure out which plane it came from. Officials told him that there is such a large window of time from when he went to work at one o'clock uh, to nine o'clock when Jessica got home that dozens of planes had flown over in that span of time. They said they document that it happened, but finding the responsible party would be quote near impossible. Now Shane and Jessica say it's fortunate that they weren't home at the time that this ice chunk fell through the roof because they think it could have done some serious damage to someone or perhaps family members or friends if they were home as well. And we'll hear more from them coming up tonight at 5 and 6 o'clock. Back to you, Emily. All right, Jennifer, thank you. Yeah.